Hi. This video is going to be for the Divine Masculine. We are going to tap into your Divine Feminine's energy and see what she has to say for you. I know I haven't popped on here yet in a while and done a reading for the Divine Masculines. So let's see what your Divine Feminine has to say. And this is going to be a timeless reading. So whenever you tune into it is when your Divine Feminine has these messages for you. Okay. But just to date it for purposes, I think the date is April 28th. Okay. All right. And this is, I'm going to be using my Lemurian Love deck, which is the deck that um, I created with my twin soul. The artwork was done by Kimrichus. Um, her channel is always linked in my description box. Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, and Higher Self. What do our Divine Feminines want their Divine Masculines to know at this time? Connecting now to the Divine Feminine. What does she want her Divine Masculine to know at this time? Connecting now to the Divine Feminine's energies, what does she long for her partner to know? I am the clearest channel for source messages. Thank you. All right, Let's see what we got. I don't know if we're going to have anything to pop out. Ooh. I'm just going to start picking them by intuition. I guess they gave us one. Your light leaves me in awe. Your light leaves me in awe. My divine masculine. <clears throat> Everything about you lights up my way in the dark. It's almost like you are your own son. And I can feel your love and your light, even though you are miles away from me. On the days when you are the farthest is the days that I feel your light the strongest. You truly are your own sun. And the heat of your light and the love from your light shines so bright. It makes me feel like I'm in my own little world. And I just bask in the glow of your light. Sometimes I look at you and your light just leaves me absolutely speechless. You are the calm in my storm. And whenever I am going through turmoil or there's an emotional storm approaching inside of my soul, you are the calm. You are what brings me back to me. You bring me back to my center. I can always count on you to center me, to ground me, to make me feel safe, protected. No matter what chaos is going on in my life, I know if I come to you and I feel that chaos in my soul, one simple word from you, and I'm back. I'm back in the calm. And I don't feel the storm. And the storm can rage all around me. And yet I know. You are the peace. You are the peace within my soul. Beautiful. Well, that's what happened. Very nice. I feel like there's a hair on my arm. It's driving me nuts. What else do we got from our Divine Feminines to the Divine Masculines, please? Whoa. I hear the cat over there eating. <laughs> oh, something was going to come out, but it didn't. It didn't flip out. It was like, nope. <laughs> That's not the right message. Not at the right time, anyways. Whoa. There it is. 
Hold on. What? Three came out. Oh my gosh. Where'd they go? One, two. And the other one go. I know three came out. <laughs> one second. Okay. Sorry. The cards flew. All right. So the next card is we've ha we have is we've had so many lives and loves together. <laughs> this is definitely not our first rodeo. So when I sit back and think my divine masculine of all of the lives that we've had together, all of the loves that we've had together, it seems almost surreal that we found each other yet again in this lifetime. How is that even possible? How is it possible that after millions and trillions and trillions of lifetimes that we've lived over and over and over again, we always seem to find each other? Do you ever stop and think about that? In each lifetime we've ever lived together, when we make the pact to come together again, we do, in every lifetime. <laughs> and we love each other in different ways in every lifetime. And every single lifetime, it feels different. And every single lifetime, we love differently. It's phenomenal. And I'm so excited to see what this life has in store for us. And what this love has in store for us in this lifetime. I'm obsessed with you. My beloved masculine, I think of you all the time. You are my waking thought in the morning. You are my hunger in the afternoon. You are my lullaby as I lay my head on my pillow at night. You are the last thing I think about as I drift off to sleep. And when I close my eyes to dream at night, my dreams are filled with dreams of you loving me, touching me, holding me, caressing all the intimate parts of my body, being there with me at night, holding me in your arms. All thoughts that fill my waking moments and haunt my dreams at night. Is it an obsession? Probably. Is it an obsession? Maybe. All I know, that you consume every waking thought in my mind, and I like it. Release me. I'll be back. My divine counterpart. I am not ready for all of this. I have to admit that I'm a little intimidated and afraid of the strength of your love. I'm sorry. Maybe I can't be what you want me to be right now. But it's okay to detach. It's okay to release me because I'll always be back. Because don't you know that I am you and you are me? And whatever our souls are made of, they are the same. So I'm never far away. So you mustn't be afraid of letting me go. Give me, excuse me, <laughs> give me freedom to live my life. Give me freedom to be free. Give me freedom to come back to you. Allow me to fly away, and I promise to always come back to you, my divine masculine. I will never be far away. All right, let's get two more cards, and we're we'll calling it a night. It's been good energy so far. Divine feminine has a lot of beautiful things to say for you, divine masculines. All right. Oh. Okay, last card after this. All right, I fucked up. I'm sorry. My beloved divine masculine. 
I'm human. And I know, I know I messed up. I did. I messed up so many times. I look back and I think to myself, my God, why are you still here sometimes? And then I realize that it's because I am you and you are me. And I love you the way that you love me. And it's an unconditional type of love. It's not conditional. There's no conditions on the way that I love you. I love you when you mess up. I love you when you fuck up. And you love me just the same. So I know if I screw up, then that just makes me more understanding of your situation. And that just makes me love you more. And because you love me unconditionally, and you accept me when I mess up, and you don't hold it against me, and you don't judge me, when I screw up, it gives me the courage to say, I'm sorry. I messed up. I made a mistake. But I never stopped loving you. I can't promise you that everything in our lives are going to be perfect. I can't promise you that I'll never fuck up again. I can't promise you that I won't ever accidentally hurt you again. But I promise you this. I will always own up to my mistakes. I will always take responsibility for my actions. And I will always let you know how truly sorry I am for bringing you any pain at all. Because all I ever want to do is be a source of joy for you in your life. I don't want to bring you any pain. I don't want to screw up. I just want to love you as much as you love me. I do. But I'm human. And I might make more mistakes. And I promise you that I will love you and accept you through yours if you will love and accept me through mine. And I know that you do. And I know that you will. And I'm here to tell you that I'm sorry for hurting you. I'm sorry that I made you cry. I'm sorry that I couldn't give you what you needed at the time. I didn't even know what I needed. And I'm so sorry that I caused you any pain. I long to taste you. <laughs> My beloved man, you have absolutely no idea the thoughts that go through my mind when I think about you. I long to taste every part of you, all of the sweat on your body, every single ounce of anything that comes out of you. All of it's good. All of it. I think about running my tongue over your body and tasting your skin and what must it taste like. So amazing. What does your skin taste like? I have no idea. But I envision what it must taste like. Like the sweetest, most heavenly candy. Something beyond anything I've ever tasted in this lifetime. What must your skin smell like? And what about your sweat? If we're lying there and we make love and a bead of sweat rolls down and trickles down your neck, if I taste it, what will it taste like? Would it be salty? What sound would you make? as I tasted your skin? What look would you give me? Would you moan? Would you groan? Would you... Would you look at me in awe as I devoured every inch of you? 
what would you think? What would it feel like to be so utterly engaged in such intimacy with your partner? What would it feel like to know that your divine feminine is enjoying tasting every single part of your skin, every single intimate part of your body, and enjoying every single ounce of it? All right, guys. Um, beloved divine masculines, that is all the messages that your divine feminine wants you to hear for today. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Divine Masculines. Um, if you did and you'd like to book a reading with me to find out more about what your divine feminine has to tell you, then you can look in my description box and all of my information's there. My deck is also for sale, Divine Masculines. So if you'd like to purchase it for 50 US dollars, please contact me at the email. Um, in my description box, or you can DM me on Instagram under Chakra Bunny. I right now I have two more decks left for sale, and then um, they're sold out. So I would have to order some more <laughs> after that. Um, but I love you all. <laughs>